should've never gave up on me Remember I ain't had no views, they ain't players Mixed emotions Got teary eye when I wrote this I done got rolled up, gang. <laughs> These people done rolled me up, bro. Look, but but what's crazy is for the first time in my life at a job, I didn't give a fuck about being rolled up. I don't know if the CDL got me big headed or what, because when she told me like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to write you up, I'm just looking like, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Which is not good, you know what I'm saying? And that don't mean I'm trying to take advantage of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, CDL probably got me big-headed, man. Because I'm just, because you know, as a truck driver, when you get your CDLs, you can go anywhere. I'm talking about anywhere. Like, I don't, you not really hurting me. If it's if it's not affecting me, uh, my my license, I don't, I don't really care. It, it don't really bother me or whatever. And I'm not trying to uh, take advantage, like I said, uh, or make, make like a bad reputation with Warner, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also not like a person, cause I feel like if somebody would comment on some goofy shit, they would say like, uh, you don't want to mess it up with them or whatever. You want to be able to go back? Fuck that. If I leave a job, bro, I ain't coming back to this motherfucking job. That that just don't make sense. And it's just a thousand trucking jobs out there. Like you gonna know when you on that road or when you just driving on the expressway, you gonna see that it's a lot of different trucking companies you could just hit up. But yeah, man, so what happened, uh, you know, I work Monday through Saturday. That's that Best Buy shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't get, you only getting that Sunday off. I don't even understand why some of us can't work Monday to Friday and some of us work Tuesday to Saturday. But there's that Warner Best Buy shit. So uh, I get a, I get a um, low Friday going to uh, Indiana, which was Fort Wayne and um, Miss Hawker or some shit like that. Fort Wayne was my last stop, though. And he like, yeah, you know, since we be the last stop, I be liking to just do drop and hook, he say. So I'm like, damn, you know, I don't even know if I could do drop and hook. I wasn't never told that. So I called my dispatch. She like, yeah, it's cool, whatever, whatever. Fort Wayne is three hours and a half away from the D.C. So I had like four hours left on my drive time. I was not going to be, I mean, I had a 30-minute window. So it's four hours on my drive time. I had three and a half hours to get back. You know, I usually always chance it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I can make it. But you never really know with traffic, how traffic going to be. The traffic could have messed up my 30-minute window. And a lot of times, like I said, I do be beating it, though, cause it, when I really, really want to get back. But this particular day, and it was Friday, I just wasn't really in a rush. So I'm like, whatever, I'm going to hit up a Love's, and I'm going to park and chill. I mean, shut down, whatever, get back up, like, 2 in the morning. So right around the time I shut down, uh, she sent me a load going to Iowa and goddamn Wisconsin. For one, if I did get back to the DC that day and woke up and woke up that Saturday at the DC to get the trailer to go to Iowa, I wasn't gonna be able to knock both of them runs out and make it back to be off Sunday. That was some bullshit. I feel like she should have she should have knew that in the dope. But before I even go any further, I'm in the wrong. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in the wrong. I should have knew better. Um, and two, um, shit, I done forgot two. But, um, so I get to goddamn the D.C. the next morning. It's three hour um, and a half ride. I get there, and they ask you, when you drop off the trailer, do you want to take another trailer to go back out? I said, hell no. You know what I'm saying? It's Saturday. I technically work. Whenever this truck is moving, I technically work. That's how I look at it. Or that's just what it is. It ain't even no if, ands, or buts about it. So uh, I drop it off. I get home. This is how I knew I fucked up. When I got home, I put my uh, phone on silent. Because I knew a motherfucker was going to call me. Because the, the the damn load was still there. And I'm like, man, why the fuck is the load still here? She not watching me. I usually think they watch me. You know, watch my time. Watch where I'm at. So they can know how to properly give me the load. So, uh... Phone outside, I'm like, man, I'm gonna give me a little nap in before a motherfucker call me. So I wake up, I got a missed call. And um, you know, she basically like what happened and shit. So I explained to her, like, you know, I didn't want to take no another load. I technically worked my Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I don't you don't have to do no whole goddamn run your whole goddamn clock to work as long as you do your load. 
but that love was impossible to do like i said i was not going to be able to do that shit especially because i already ran off three and a half hours on my drive time it's gonna take about four hours to get to iowa alone you know what i'm saying and um they're gonna have to unload and i gotta go to wisconsin and they're gonna have to unload so my 14 hours still running i just didn't feel like i was gonna get back in time on top of not wanting to do it um or whatever but to make a long story short man she basically said um she gonna have to put it in the system as a refusal and um you know you get two of them i guess um i don't know maybe they cut your ass off i'm not really sure but she said it's a write-up whatever and i was just thinking like okay you know what i'm saying whatever you know you know when you were shorty in school bad as hell and the principal be like uh what's your mama number i'm for the caller you be like i'll call her myself you know what i'm saying that's that's the type of moment i had you know what i'm saying but um like i said man i ain't trying to like be too careless you know what i'm saying motherfuckers don't want to lose their job you know what i'm saying motherfuckers on a mission but yeah that's what happened man she said next time you know if if that's the case just holler at her and tell her that you know i don't want to do the load you know what i'm saying they they give me the loads around i guess two three o'clock or whatever she said I could have let her know then, which, like I said, it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? I should have, I should have told her what was what, even after I seen that it was still on there. But I just figured they was gonna take care of it. But now I know, man. So she shouldn't be giving me no problems when I tell her, like, man, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying, do that low. And I asked her, when you used to say that you don't wanna take a low for whatever reason, doesn't that count as a refusal? And she said no. So we gonna see. But all right, gang, when y'all get y'all lows, bro, I let y'all dispatch, man. Keep in touch with them, man. Don't leave them hanging like I did. You feel me? But until next time, gang, I'll holler at you.